Oh, hello. I almost didn't see you there. Today, Elron has tasked me with a new mission. I am to show new acolytes in the one true faith which weapons are best to destroy the hideous Ravager drones that only the sick, deprived and perverted minds of the Thargoids could come up with. Let's get to it! This is the Manticore Oppressor. It is the worst gun in the game at killing humans, and it's also the worst gun at the game at killing Thargoid drones. It's kind of meant to be like a plasma SMG, but it does very little damage, as you'll soon see. You could actually quadruple its damage and it would still be terrible. So here we are, at a base occupied by Thargoid drones. Well, let's let them have it! So it's hard to hit with it because the projectiles are slow moving and even when they do hit, they do very little damage, making it pretty much worthless. As you can see, yeah, I'm having a great time here. I'm showing them who's boss. I mean, I've got their attention. That's something to say for it. But, not really getting anywhere. Now, let's try the kinetic pistol next and see if that does better in the same situation. Okay. So I'm doing a lot more damage with this pistol and it's a lot easier to hit because the projectiles are a lot faster. Okay, now back to the uh, Plasma SMG. So if I get close, it does do damage, but it's still a lot worse than the, the Kinetic Pistol. And even up close, it still takes quite a lot longer to kill than any other weapon. So yeah, uh, this gun is awful. Never use it. Just to emphasise how bad the Manticore Oppressor is, let's compare it with the Laser SMG, which I also have at level 5 here. As you can see, it's cutting through them. This gun would have benefited from the stability mod, but hey, what are you going to do? Now on to the Kinetic SMG, which I think I've shown you before. It's also at level 5. And uh, this one has the stability mod on it as well, just to point that out. So yeah, it's cutting through the Thargoid drones as well, pretty effortlessly. It does have quite a bit of recoil on it, but close up, it's amazing. Next on to what I think is the second best weapon for killing Thargoid drones, it's the Laser Assault Rifle. Now it's pretty much hit scan I believe and it's very good at range. I do have the greater range mod on this. And it's very accurate since it's got very little recoil. I question whether it should have any recoil but never mind. It makes a mess of them and it can do it from a distance as well. It's a lot better than the Kinetic Assault Rifle, actually. Mainly due to its accuracy, I, I suppose. Killed 
Now you might be thinking, well, surely there can't be another gun better at killing Thargoid drones than this. I mean, this this laser assault rifle is making it look easy. Well, it just so happens that Elrond has blessed another weapon for this specific task of killing these bastard drones. Will you be able to guess which one it is? I don't think you will. Well, here it is. Uh, yes, I think the uh, the TK Zenith, the laser pistol, is probably the best weapon for killing Thargoid drones, believe it or not. I know you're all sceptical, but I will show you proof. Yes, proof. Proof. So I'm just going to dive into the Thargoid drones here. Without a care in the world. One down. Two down. Three. It's got quite good range as well. So yes, it just makes mince meat out of them. I didn't expect laser weapons to be the best at killing Thargoid drones, but well, there you go. Now, the rocket launcher is good in that it will one-shot them. And you can use it to actually stealthily wipe them all out. Because if you hit one with a rocket launcher, the others don't react to it. But if they aggro on you and they're moving all over the place, it's very difficult to hit them with the rocket launcher. And also, the rocket launcher doesn't have a great ammo capacity, usually. Unless you've got the ammo upgrade on your suit. So yeah, Elrond recommends that you use laser weapons to kill Thargoid drones. Praise Elrond. 